welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video because I'm gonna take you along for our very first paddleboard session of the season. So we ordered an inflatable uh, paddleboard off of Amazon. I'll make sure to link it down in the description box below so that you can check it out, but we're excited to give this a try. It's a beautiful day here in Florida. The water is so calm, so it's gonna be a perfect day to try out paddleboarding. So let's go ahead and try it out. We decided to go with this FB Sport Premium Inflatable Stand-Up Paddleboard from Amazon for our first go at stand-up paddleboarding just for a few different reasons. One of those being that we do live in an apartment and we don't have a ton of storage for things like this. So also we chose this one because of the reviews. While I was doing my research, this one actually came up as one of the top rated paddleboards because of the durability and the weight and it also comes in a lot of different colors. So overall it just looked like a great first choice. Alright, time to give it a try. It was actually a little bit windier and the water was a little bit wavier than what we thought. So that was an interesting first try. Um, I was the only one to give it a try at first and then Nick decided to hop on with me and I wish I would have had footage of it because it was pretty hilarious. But overall, day one was a success. Um, we're super impressed with this paddle board. It comes with everything that you need right in the bag. So you get all of the ankle straps, the fins, uh, the pump for it, and it comes in this really great bag and everything's really lightweight so we have used a real paddle board before that wasn't inflatable and they are much heavier so I can appreciate that this one's a lot lighter super simple to inflate simple to deflate it takes really just a couple minutes to deflate it so just as far as its portability goes that's a huge positive for us so overall it was a really great first day of paddle boarding time for day number two so we got super lucky with a really sunny day and we actually found that the water is much calmer in the mornings so we headed out over to inlet beach which has a really nice public beach access and started things up around 10 30 or so in the morning the water was so much calmer and overall just a lot easier to navigate for us as you know newbie paddle boarders I gave it my best shot with pumping it up and Nick obviously took it from there to finish things up. It's definitely an arm workout with that pump, but again, it just takes a few minutes to get it up to around 10 PSI. If you do plan on having two people on it, you can pump it up to its max of 15 PSI. There is a weight limit, so you might keep that in mind and that will just add a few extra minutes for pumping up time. Once it was all aired up and ready to go, it was time to head out into the water. Mm -hmm. 
So if you're a newbie paddle boarder just like we are, I learned pretty quickly that if you start out on your knees, it's a lot easier than standing up. So it's gonna take some, you know, a few tries after, you know, getting the hang of everything to really stand up for a while, at least for me. Um, but I learned that whenever you just have either you're sitting on your knees or stand up a little bit on your knees, it's a lot easier to navigate and you feel a lot more stable. So just a pro tip from me as a newbie. <laughs> All right, now it's time for Nick to give it a try. He obviously is super athletic and makes it look a lot easier, and he ended up standing up for quite a bit of the time that he was out there, so I was pretty impressed. But again, we got lucky with a really calm day, so that's another pro tip that I would definitely recommend is you want to head out there whenever the water looks like this. Barely any waves and obviously less wind because we learned on the first day that whenever it's really windy, you honestly feel like you could fall over when you try to stand up. So the less windy, the better. Look at Nick making it look all easy and stuff. You can't even tell he's a newbie just like me. But anyway, so yeah, that was all for day number two of paddle boarding. And again, the overall weight for this inflatable paddle board is just around 15 to 20 pounds, I believe. So it's very lightweight for both Nick and myself to carry around. It's super easy to get back on if you fall off. Trust me, I know. <laughs> and so yeah, we definitely recommend it for newbie paddle boarders. Once we were done for the day, it was time to go ahead and deflate it, which again is super simple and honestly really fast. So it has a little plug at the end that you just pull and it folds right back up. It also fits really easily back into its bag, which is something I was happy about because that's not always the case whenever you try to put something back how it came. So overall, we definitely recommend this paddle board. I cannot wait to see where we get to take it for our future adventures. I love that it's super portable and easy to inflate and deflate. So I hope this helped you guys just to see how easy it is to get into paddle boarding. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments down below and I'll be happy to answer them as best as I can. So that is all for today's vlog, you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you will give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss an update from me. All right, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.